our voices gone. We got scammed, so they took our money for that hotel. What? So and then we was looking around Newcastle at three o'clock. You bought lots of sannies, mate. What do you mean if you hooked up? You can't rock up and not get a <laughs> Mentos Fanta. Might have got them this morning, but we'll try these. So, cheers, yeah, mate. Got a bit giddy there. Morning, guys. What is happening? It is now. Just gone 10 past 5. I'm just getting there. Pack up made ready for the day. I've got a busy one today. Got to head to one of our commercial sites to get a few bits done there. Uh, I need to get some wagging done this morning, so hence why I'm leaving early. Coffee at the ready. And just doing like I say, pack up now. But uh, went live last night, thanks to the pot as always. Might go live later on. See how I am for time. I'm going to go pick Matty up literally in about 20 minutes as soon as I've got Matty. And then I'm heading to one of our sites, and from there, I'm picking George up, getting back into Hull. And then uh, I've got about 40 made it of ours to fit. So, Got a busy one today, hence why we are up early, uh, ready to go grind. So, so go back trying to eat healthy, bro. Which is hard, I suppose, when you're on site all day. So, I've just done myself some chicken. I cooked it last night, and everyone just left it cooking, and everyone's gone off on its own. So, chicken with just a little bit of paprika on it. And then, uh, just some steamed veg, nice and simple. No, it's not plumbing, but real life. I'll get that like cold down, get that in there, and that's me. Uh, Back up for today, which is, could go get a sandwich, go get something else, but no. Trying to get back in order a little bit with the body because uh, I let things go a little bit. I've just uh, been working hard lately and just not bloody eating correctly, which is a massive thing. So, hey ho, get there. Uh, one more quick coffee and I'm out of here. Right, so I'm just in the van now, guys. It is uh, just before half past five. I'm gonna go get Matty now. He's just messaged me, called me maggot to let me know that he's up. So that's Matty all over, but yeah, cracking lad. All the way to get him now. Pack up's ready. Uh, done the best, but it'll do. Chicken uh, and steamed vegetables. So let's go get it, guys. Mate. Been here 10 minutes. I know I've got my phone as a thumbs up message. Still waiting for him. Hurry up, Matt, for God's sake. Fucking ridiculous, isn't it? What do you mean? Ridiculous now in the morning. It's just what we do, mate. Yeah, but you're in a beef on Thursday. Right, yeah? Yeah. Go for that, let's go. Should we get some drinks? Yeah. Health, and, <laughs> health is wealth and all that, isn't it, Matt? I've got a nice fresh bottle of water. What have you got for your breakfast? It's a um, carbonated mixed fruit juice and flavour energy drink added caffeine and vitamins. And what else you got? Bad Chris, man. Shows up Chris, you picked. So it's 20 to 6. Can't beat these. Oh my god, he's got a big bag of honey rings. Like, <laughs> well, no way it's fucking up here. This is our first one. Early on site. We got all slagging stripped back. And get this way made up back to these joints here and then repatch these sections in because you can see they've all given way. Pipe work doesn't look too clever as well, but these have external heating circuits, CT circuits, these so I'll get these lagged up. PP right, so we're just pulling up to Matty's now. Literally, we're not driving on the road, we're just on this drive. So, Matt, not a bad little morning here, mate. Alright, that's uh, me done. So, I've given him how much I give you. Give me the ten pound change. He's gonna grab yourself a sunny from Balance Wine. Well, there's a shout out. But what we've done this morning, just like some uh, three inch external heat and mates on one of our commercial sites. <laughs> <laughs> I've dropped him off now. Let's go get his van. Uh, the beast. So look at this. When he ripped his van, our tube's wide open as well. I don't know. Well, I think someone robbed me. To be honest with you, man. What do you mean? I I, I put no copper in there. You mean you better not? <laughs> Where are you going now? Are you going straight to that job? Yeah. Sound. Well, I'll pop and see. I'll go to you. I'll get loaded up. I'll pop and see you. Nice. You might have to grab George, right? Cheese this morning, mate. Sure, mate. So, we just finished that job, like I say, now them free cheating, mate. Mate! <laughs> Matt! Hmm? You can't do that, mate. Matt, it's real annoying. What? Don't do it. There's no need. It honest to God, on that side as well. It's immature. What are you going in your house for? Get to work. What? Get to work. 
What are we doing? What, what are you going on for? <laughs> so yeah, that them three inch heater mains are like now all done with the Amflex again. Did you get much footage on the end of that one? But I'll pop back to office now, get unload. I've got a few bits unload. Go pick up all these radiator valves, new expansion vessel, and then me and George are together today. So it'll be a nice little day, a bit of training there with George. We've got a uh, say 14 radiator valves, designer radiator valves to fit, uh, new expansion to fit, bleeds, air vents. So it'll be good and he's got his toolkit as well so it'll be buzzing about that one as well so get back to our face i'll see you soon guys right so i'm back to the studio well i say studio this is our little lock up so we can see what i've got here is our lead so when i come to do this i'm gonna get a vice set up uh, and wipe a lead joint onto that i think it's i don't know be five or six pounds lead locker go on there but we'll get that sat on we're going to open one of these up for you. So this is a de so we're going to get that clipped up there, open it up, show you how that works on the system. So the plan will be, we'll get it up there, brand everything. And then lead pipe. Uh, now, I got taught when I was a so just going back to site now, and George is going to tell his story from the weekend. What happened, George? Come on, fire away. So I got to Newcastle to our hotel. What's up with your voice? My voice is gone. We got scammed, so they took out money for that hotel. What? So I was looking around Newcastle about three o'clock. For an hotel, and the game was at five. Found an hotel, and then we put our stuff in it. Went to the game, came back, and my mate set a flare off in his bag in the hotel. Why would you do that? And no, he didn't mean to because he just pulled it off my house, and then the full hotel got evacuated. It was like 300 people outside. I <laughs> got kicked out. What an idiot! Sounds like a class weekend, like lad. He <laughs> been found for it. Uh, Bad that mate. <laughs> Who puts flares in the bags, mate? <laughs> He bought a lot of sannies, mate. Uh-huh. What do you mean if you look so? You can't rock up and not get a gross sannie. There's a sannie shot on the corner, isn't there? Hang on a sec, lads, just a quick one. Mr. HR here, yeah, to be fair, does what he wants, doesn't he? Who on the phone to? Jude. Judo. Judo. I do make right. Judo. Where's he gone? His phone always does that. Bring him back. No. He's not ragging about that stupid sound that he's got outside there. Uh, Beals, what you got? Swine for It's a bit arse that, he's been to Swine thingy. Where? That's Blind Swine. Do you know when you just asked me when you were pickled in? I'll eat it, yeah. You having any of this, lads? Mate, this, this wok don't fill itself up on its own. Don't, because that. Do I'll be honest with you, mate, I was straight up last night. It's a bit arse that, you know. We follow Caprani, we support, oh, support so Caprani, don't we? That away? That's in the good box, the rubbish box is behind you. He's literally been on site 10 minutes. Come to site, just rules, don't you, Matt? Fine. I didn't get the one. You didn't even ring to ask. Matt, watch the bees coming there. I did get you some cash as well. What do you think's that branding, Matt? Branding. On the vans. <laughs> what? Don't even, because I know what you're going to slap on me on, mate. What are you doing, you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so just quickly, uh, lads, can you just give us a quick insight? So, so what he's got here is he's got some uh, faithful screws over there. <laughs> <laughs> Show me his tongue. Got a B and Q level. Yeah, my dad's had in your dad. It's got a B and Q level. These are better than yours. <laughs> my yours. <laughs> I really like these though, George. These, these are a good bit of kids. <laughs> 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 George, <laughs> what is that you on the main? <laughs> yeah, it's my walkie, that's all right. <coughs> mine at all. Oh no, it's mine at all. <laughs> no, it's not a bad little tool bag. What are you planning on doing with this then, George? Going and breaking some houses on a weekend or something? Yeah. No, we'll do a little tour. I'll let you hammer. Good fiberglass shaft. So why is it fiberglass, George? So in case you ever hit electric, you'll never. Yeah. yeah, but what what are you going to hit electric if you start whacking sockets? You're an idiot, any matter. <laughs> it's not bad. This bit. No, I like that. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Just minor torque again, isn't it? That's alright, that yeah. Go minor torque it. He sees that. Do it for me. He's. These uh... <laughs> school <laughs> is good. That you'll do it. I've got a brand new city yeah, cam in the van, mate. You can get rid yeah, of them they today. Are, they are brand new. Look at that. Yeah, mum's missing that. I've got a set you can have today, don't worry. Uh, what colour? I don't, I don't think I have. Tell him I'll, I'll go through fix now if he wants. Magnuson. This is nice, isn't it? I'll go yeah. through. We'll do a proper tour back talk, aren't we? I've got, what, 15? No, I've got... F- you might as well leave your tools here, George. <laughs> <laughs> you 
No, I'm joking, George. Take him. I've got a spanner at home as well, but it's like fault of it, so already. <laughs> what do you mean? I, don't, I open it, it's just fault of it. <laughs> you hate his voice! Oh, wow. <laughs> That's why right, he's back, huh? It's this mate, he kills me. Look at Luke's little battery all there. It's mad all the charge on there, isn't it, for wood? Yeah, do you know, do you know what I, I do sometimes? I like do that. <laughs> what, so many traps on? He goes over a bump, they'll fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's the only set you need in your bag, mate. So, Cheers. from me at Caprani, to you, also going to treat you. Have you got one of them? No. George, put that in your bag as well, mate. Cheers. We'll give you proper tools, mate. Cheers. None of these hand-me-downs off lads, all right? Yeah. That's good spanner, that. I like it. It's all about looking after the lads, George. That's what we like to do. Did you get your spanner, Matt? Did you get your span out of the van? No. Where is it then? I think you have, mate. So that's it now. And I mean, you can bring it safe and have a little tidy pot if you're happy. Like, say, I've got loads of other tools in the yard, so we'll get out logged up for you properly, mate, if you want. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you want to give him another screwdriver? No, but he needs to get with that fearful oh set, mate. I'll give him that. He needs to get with that fearful set, and I'll sort his bag out today. No, it isn't. That, that, that was mine. That was mine. mine I bought. I swear to God, mate. Listen, be riots, man. you have to buy your own tools now. You're not an apprentice no more, you're a gaffer. Let's Pop go. Van. Who's got the better van, me or Luke? No, it's sober. So, basically, yeah, my van's better. Yeah. Pop a van, mate, mate. Right, let's go. What's he doing in here? What are you doing in my tools? Get out of my bags. Mm. Oh, yeah, fair play. See you later. Give us a level 10 head, but. No. Come on. Get hold of George, a day to get hold of him. Get hold of him. Grab him. Matt, grab him. Matt, grab him. <laughs> grab him. <laughs> grab him. <laughs> grab him. <laughs> I reckon he'll do, yeah. <laughs> see, see that, mate, I'm there. I'm, I'm there. You drop your guard, have you? You drop your guard. I'm over the top, mate. I just cracked you. <laughs> I'm not. So we fit this heating system, this heating, this boiler, George, didn't we? About how long ago now? Well, I've sitting on my own. About uh, five months ago, but you can see the water content is crystal. Then we're just down these there, putting on your radiator valves and the radiators. Then we need to incorporate a new expansion to one of the boilers. Not necessarily, well, yeah, it's struggling to cope, I'm not sure. So we're going to put another additional expansion on because uh, it's been coming up the PR. I've got the main one with you today. How do you want to say anything inspirational, George? Uh, apart from setting flares off in hotels? No, not really. Just don't set flares off in hotels. <laughs> So, as we're changing rad valves now with George here, I've got my uh, maintenance bag out. So, again, the one I've got here, actually bought a Float Vito Pro Pack Tech Series. This is just my maintenance bag, basically. Because we're just changing rad valves, don't see the point getting the insulation bag out because it's not really an install job, but I'll let you guys decide. So, a quick little run through cleaning cloth, temperature gauge, uh, two little nipexes there. Look at them little be waste. Uh, them little ones there, wife got me for an anniversary, so that says. Love you six years, so yeah, keep them. Still use them for a bit, a little bit small, but they do come in handy. Uh, oh no, but I don't want them back to be tidy, so let me put these back tidy a second. So, my own lights there, my Laco stick type paste, tape measure. Uh, I've got a couple of electrical tape there. Now, these Nipexes, mate, siphon Nipexes, unreal. So, very rarely get used, but again, handy to have on board. Oh, again, look at these. Now they are a nice tool. The Nipex 250-8603-SW52 slash 2 inch. Yeah. Like them. Uh, my Weira Hex set. I like them. Leco Regan Fan Oil Lair for Fan Assemblies. Pair of Barcos. Weira Electric Screwdriver set there. George put a spanner back. It's got a little bit of Loctite. So I've got George being around the front. My Loctite, George. I'll fix it, mate, don't worry. So he's been on the middle of the radiator valve up for me, which is uh, good. I'm happy with that. And then I keep these cheap little bits of crumpet in here. So these ones here, yeah, olive cutters. Now, a lot of you guys will just use a hacksaw or rag them off for the glandies. Don't like doing it. Again, all we do with these is, I'll do a better video shortly, but olives on there. Bish, bosh, bang, bang. Olive off, done. I'll pull them off there. Yeah, done. So I'm just underway now, getting them tightened in as well. Again, we always like to work smart. I can find out with George, so no old radiator spanners, literally. Ratchet spanner like that. 
And then yeah, good to go. So I'm gonna get this foul slung on there now and uh, catch him soon. I gotta feed the street. No, this is what. Mate, what are you doing with these doors, mate? God. <laughs> so just being tool station, pick up the fuel little bit of sample, George. Yeah. Got a little treat for us today, George. Mentos Fanta. <laughs> Might have got them this morning, but we'll try these. So cheers, Matty. I bought them in here, so it doesn't fucking matter. But yeah. So well underway with this one now. We'll add to what we've got done, all the valves upstairs. Do what? <laughs> All the radiator valves are upstairs, got to get the 8 and litre invented expansion fit next to this Ardell Vogue now. And we've got a 7 downstairs, haven't we? 7 downstairs, I believe it's due to the water content, I think there's a high volume water in the system, so I'm going to calculate it, but I'm going to put an 8 and litre additional expansion on, and that will cope with the system what we need, so... How do you want to say to the fans, George? Not really. All you ladies out there? You single out, George? Are you? Yeah. Yeah. So Georgie, we're on with it. So three radiators in living room. I'll give you a quick little turn on now where we are. One, two, three. New ones going in. George has got a bit of a leak, but it's nothing to worry about. I'm uh, gonna move. So teamwork, you'll have seen from the videos earlier as well. Which is good to be fair, wasn't it, George? Mm. The little uh, video earlier that you did. Of uh how to change the radiator valve. I liked it. Oh, I've got a leak. Do you want to get the wet back fit? Sorry mate, it's fine, it's a blue one, yeah? Fly me to the moon. Give it. It's running down, it's running down. Right, it's going to work. Sorry mate, I'll get the thing out. It's annoying with this, because I know this for you, but it's not a problem. We sound Georgie lad. What would Ali G say this morning, Tyler? What would Ali G say? Uh, uh, let's go. Let's go. No, no, no. Just, just let's just more at a time. I just don't think it's worth it because if we start cracking loads of it, we'll create a vacuum and then it's just going to fly up, mate. Right, let's get the radiator valve. Don't crack anything. Don't do the bleeds, mate. So Only because, yeah, just look, get all the things done. Oh, this done first. Get the bases done and you can do the bleeds. Yeah.
Yeah, they're making all the pipes go. Yes. So we we'll control that one, haven't we, Georgie, lad? Yes. Yeah, so. We'll have to wait for that drill to run a bit more. But I don't like that. Took what I was doing to the Redfalls. I don't understand this. The Redfalls exactly the same size. Yeah, it's it, it's fine. I don't know why. We're putting them in so far. Putting what into the bottom. I think. Yeah. But that was a bit of a nightmare, that George, wasn't it? I need to do some of our lad legs. That lad legs are alright, but look at that. We'll get some more yeah. wipes down as well. I don't know what's going on today, but I feel a bit defeated. We're on a 14 for 88 now, and oh Jesus Christ, the last three ones just kept lobbing water out. So, George was there with the wet vac, he's held it for me and done what he needs to do, but I'm literally swapping these ones. But see what's in this one then. But they've done many in there, it's just literally been. These must swing of water as well. But yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare that one. Bit of a nightmare. Knew it'd be like that. It's in the system. So I, don't, I was reckon I could do this just wild. Oh, they've cut that on. Squeeze it. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, look at that. Oh, Nafi, what have you done? To be fair though, not a problem, because what I'll do is I'll cut the other end off in, so yeah. That's it, uh, try and have a get about one hand. That's the first one I've done today, like, what a nightmare. But, we live on. What I've done, and the reason being is, George, yeah, is, let's see if I can crimp that now. <laughs> I've put the other drain off there, because that drain off was near good. That's no good, that. I'm not gonna finger that, so. Now, we will shut off and connect my hose pipes out, which will be all lot better, but we overcome, we adapt, don't we, George? Yeah. We have been. So, absolute nightmare. I've run out of drain-offs. I'm not going back to merchants to get one. I've put a new one in, but I don't know where I've got them. Uh, flat back wash. I don't know that one. Oh, that one. Oh, oh, that's oh, half inch drop. I should do that. That's what I mean about keeping stock in your van. Look at that. Oh, my word, does that not make you excited looking at that? <laughs> I'm always trying to wear a spice with better, be the better engineer that I was yesterday, you know, go far. Yeah, I didn't do them. And then I have this little rat come at me and point dodge. Point, so what point are you? Solder, long run. Two block cleaned up. Once you've done it, but you've just left it. Presentation in your work is a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> All we know of this game is to press. Don't stress, George. What have you got in your hand there? No, you're not taking it home and sleeping in bed with it. Draw a little face on it if you want. <laughs> so what I'm doing here now is I'm putting an additional tea in. The reason being is the expansion vest on that 40 kilowatt Vogue. Is it a 40 kilowatt this? Yeah, it's a 40 kilowatt. It's a bit of a beast of a boiler. It's 40 kilowatt Vogue here. That isn't coping. It's fully charged and it's fine. But I don't the water content in the system is way too much. So I'm putting an additional expansion. So I've gone for the... 18 litre with the bracket. My boy George is well underway with it, so we've got this bracket which we're going to get screwed up onto the wall. I'm going to have to grind that off because that doesn't work, does it, George, lad? No. So we can do all that outside. We can get the system filled back up, that's the main, and start looking at it and get it working. Because you're getting more. Oh. <laughs> ah, five, George. Still hard at graft, aren't we? Mm. What are you doing there, lad? So, putting this additional expansion, because again, as I said before, the system's uh, over-pressurising itself and it's heating, so it's got George now, getting that crimped in. Good looking, lad. Well done, Georgie. I'll get that tightened up and then we can get some pressure into there, can't we? Pressure sealed on the boil as well, so we've filled it up to what we've filled it up to now. Just over half a bite, it's been stood for a good 10 minutes now, so after this, we're good to start getting vented there, mate. Mm -hmm. Do right. oh, uh... I'm joking, <laughs> I'm just getting you back. <laughs> One sec, mate, what's this? 
squeak. Wait, wait, why you got leak? Come on, lad. <laughs> Come on, tighten that muscle. <laughs> It's coming up there, isn't it? No, it's coming up that. Like, it's there, you can see the water spraying, see there? Mm. It's literally spraying on, I don't that. Do you want me to do it? It's getting worse, mate. Oh, I know, God. it's getting worse. It's getting worse, it's getting worse. <laughs> Chemicals it's in the deep. system now, so drain off's down there. Good to go, so, little tip. If you work on eatings, chemicals go in. <sighs> Tell you what. Can I have a funnel? I need to crack the knot on the side where the book. Maybe we eat. Quite this now, watch. As soon as I crack that. Oh, wait, George! Was water coming up then? George? Was water coming up then? Right, I'll come down one sec, mate. Pulled the pin out, didn't you? One sec. Yeah, but Oh, I'll get some blow now to put these chems in. Right, they're in. Oh. Luke's popped down now to give us a little bit of a drag out. Uh, it's quarter past six. I'll show you. Well, I will. I will. I will. There we go. Just getting filled now. The system's quite a big one, so a lot of water content in this. So, we're at that pressure now. Now, again, hair is going to hurt. I'll admit it's not the best, but it's in the boiler room utility. And I've had to add this expansion reason being is the water content in the system is just ridiculous. So what's happening is when I run the heating system, it's sitting at one bar, but as it increases, it increases, increases, increases because the water content it just just hits free. PRV kicks in the leaks and by the time it's cooled down, it leaks. So I've added an additional 18 litre expansion on a bracket on there, so you can see it's on the L bracket there with a three quarter to fifteen tap connector, and then it just comes on. So I've put lead valve there as well, so for ease of use on it because again. There is one inside the boiler and the PRV is in the boiler, so I'm not concerned about that. But just finishing filling up now, then we'll get the system fired up and then air. Uh, but again, team's pulled through as usual and the heat. So that's fired up now. Manual of ridden, heating's on. Let's see what happens. He's sling it in time, Luke's box sight. Look what you've got to say, lad. You hot? Is he, yeah? Luke's like, sling it in the van. I would be getting paid for overtime. Just that's sling it in. Absolutely. You get your time in low, lad? No, we'll sort it out, mate. Sort it out. Sort out the office. I, I don't get. I need, I need the. I need the. Time. I need get break involved. From your lot. I don't get involved with the office stuff. Why? Because it goes. What's the word I could use here? It goes in one ear and out the other. Conflict of interest to the business. No, it goes in one ear out the other. And that. <laughs> so Dion, uh, Jessica, and Dale will deal with it accordingly. Mate, I'm gonna have to go to Turkey. Because I feel like I'm filling out well. Look at that. Yeah, I've still got it, but look at it, it's starting to come. Yeah, but my dad had the same. But he, yeah, he had a full yeah. of air. But to be fair though, mate, like be honest, Ian, I want real con thing. I will do. Right, so. I'm 33. That head of air you've got horrendous. <laughs> why, why do you think I'm going to Turkey in September? It's not Let's see you there, George. Pull your airline back, see where it is. Pull it back. Not down there, you monkey cunt. I'm going to pull it back up there. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's us done then, guys. So, quick insight what we've done today, haven't we? So, we have today 14 radiator valves. Luke's completed his bathroom. We've done the commercial lagging this morning. Me and Luke have packed this full job up. George has literally put his tools in the van and said, I'm making more space. Yeah. Who's going to do the sign out? We'll sign us out. Because it's a decent video tonight. I think it's about 20 minutes long. Bear in mind, we've done three lives today, George. What do you think about the lives? Right. Uh, oh, look, you can say what we're looking to do next week. Uh, full live, full team. About 6, 7 o'clock of the night. Or so, if probably you can... Wednesday, because that suits me better. Family commitments. Yeah. So, what we can maybe look at doing is a live on the night. So, we can do a bit of QA. But I'm going to have to plug it through. Should I plug it through TikTok? No. Just Instagram. Instagram. I think Instagram's dying though as well, don't you? Just tell people on YouTube. I'll tell people on YouTube we'll do a live again tomorrow morning at four in the morning when I'm up. I'm, I'm in Luke's bottom of his bed, like, look, come here, go back. <laughs> what are you saying, Georgie? No. But as always, guys, thanks for the support. We respect it, don't we, George? Yeah. Tomorrow's video is going to be a little bit different, so we're on our commercial sites, but me and Luke are going to pull off site for half an hour with George, and we're going to do a bit of like a, a Tinder profile setup for George because we need to get in the bed. Yeah. <laughs> Swipe right if you want, swipe left if you don't. <laughs> Is that how it works? I don't know. Yeah, he does know. Yeah, he does know. He was in Newcastle, he said he was on Tinder. <laughs> so, George, if you're watching this, he's expanded the hunt to Newcastle now, aren't he? He's got Johnny's in his wallet. <laughs> I don't even have a wallet. <laughs>